Okay guys, this is uh, part 4, the last part of uh, my mega pick of the year. This is a uh, French uh, army uh, flag. This is the good side. I will uh, turn it over to let you see the bad side. Put it on the camera. And if you see the back side, you will agree with me that it is probably Second World War. As you can see, it looks okay from the uh, little bit of a distance, but you see all the mouth holes. It's double sided, stitched, so. But it took a heavy beating uh, in the course of its life, so. Probably gonna put it in the freezer a little while to kill all the little critters if they are still, uh, still alive, but I don't think so. But better to be safe than uh, sorry. Okay. Then I've got another English gas mask. This one is dated 1931. And I've got lubricating oil, general purpose, from 1970. I just uh, liked it because it's uh, 1970 is uh, Vietnam War era, so it's still it's still full. I just uh, want to keep it for display purposes. I've got some uh, cutlery, I've got spoons, I've got forks, I've got one that has it all, and I've got an, uh, a round which is uh, shut off already, so it's quite nice also for display purposes. This is a very lightweight aluminum, as you can compare it with a regular spoon. You can also see the color is different. This is a Dutch uh, army uh, spoon. This is probably... Uh, it's not uh, dated, but I think it's early uh, after Second World War. It is the same as a uh, Waffen SS spoon, the light, uh, the weight I mean, because uh, I have one that is uh, stamped Waffen SS and it is as light as this one. So. Probably they made them uh, after the war also. This is a little little spoon. This one has a stamp of aluminium and this HMZ on it. So maybe it's Second World War but it has a little nick in it. But I like it. I've got uh, two uh, Army Beret badges of the Chassé. I've got a First World War a trenching tool very very nice it was the first thing I picked up from the mega pick and I thought this one is going home with me as you can see with the pitting it's it's not stamped but it is certainly first world war you can see one rivet is very it's still there but it's almost gone this if this piece could talk that would be something and then I have an uh, old uh, box camera. This one is a little bit uh, shut on the back, but it's a cool little one. It's called Bilora Stahlbox, so it's a German one. Don't know the brand, but don't know if I'm gonna sell it or if I'm gonna keep it. But I just uh, he had also another camera. I took it out of the box, and he asked 15 euros for it. So. I just uh, didn't tell him it wasn't a camera inside, I just said, oh that's a nice box, and I put it in, because I know it was a camera box and he didn't see it, so, uh, otherwise uh, 15 euros is about the, the max uh, value about it, I uh, buy and sell box cameras a little bit, but most of the time I won't even pay 8 euros for a box camera, so, he was asking too much. On the back it's an... Uh, Czechoslovakian uh, second world war uh, enlisted men's belt. This is a Dutch uh, army belt, probably second world war. I think an officer one. This is one for enlisted men. And this one is about, I think, 1950s. That's an officer 
badge uh, and a visor cap from the 1970s 80s two L straps unfortunately it's uh, two of the same size same side I mean two of these uh, are like uh, flag holders should do uh, well on that three cloth belts for the 1950s 60s uh, officer uniforms and a regular enlisted men's uh, belt for the combat uniform I'm gonna sell that one two bandoliers a little bit modern ones from the 1970s that's the second world war one for Lee Enfield gonna keep that one I've got a rifle cleaning kit from the East German Army got two uh, mag pouches for the Kalashnikov from the East German raindrop pattern two 1950s uh, Magazine pouches for the carbine for the M1 uh, carbine. Two Vietnam uh, War uh, short uh, ammunition pouches. Gonna keep those because I was looking for those a couple of years and now I found them, so I'm quite happy about it. And this is a um, gas mask cape. Unfortunately, one of the studs is uh, gone, but. It's a Second World War one, and uh, probably gonna sell that one because I already have one or two in my collection. I cannot keep everything myself, so I have to make some money to uh, get my investment back. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. Please hit the like button if you like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And please uh, tell me what is the most uh, interesting item uh, that you think I have. Okay, guys, take care. Bye bye.